Welcome to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh, the Note Queen, where we talk about owner financing and notes. Financial solutions, one mom and pop to another. We were going to carry just for kicks and giggles, right? Take the cash. Let's say you end up, now you have 60000 that you can lend uh, either just like we did with, um, what are we doing that with? Well, I have it listed on Zillow right now, 70000 like you said, owner financing. Right. It's so only been on four days. Four days, I got a lot of hits. I got a lot of interest. Okay, fantastic. So, well, but let's just see, like, what's the, like, in a safer, in a different environment with less of the exposure to the HOA, let's just for, for being able to compare, you're looking at giving up, let's say, 60000 that you can invest safely at 8% and give up uh, and get 400 a month uh, times 12. So let's just see what your, you know, th this is almost, let's say, 4500 to five. A thousand a year in interest, of course, then that's taxed uh, at some level according to your profile, but um, right, so that's just yeah. an example. All right, now if you sell for 70 and we're not doing closing costs and all that, right, we know that those factor in, but mm -hmm. if you're going to have 20% down, which is a conventional, that's 14,000 minus the 70,000, okay, so your note amount. And I'm making that a positive number it goes in present value here. And what would the rate, uh, what, what could somebody afford for, like, what are they paying in rent? Did you say? It's, it, it's like, uh, at least not uh, for that size room, at least like 859, 900. Okay. So they can, they can afford 900 as a rent. Now I'm not saying they can't afford more monthly if they, um, if they own it, but I'm just going to pretend, Hey, if you have 20% down on for the same price, you could rent, you know? So yeah, it's an right. easy way to go. This is a high level of, of doability here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So 900 minus what's current HOA. Current HOA. They just, and so the thing is that they just added the, the heating cause that the gas heat to the association 319. Okay, what else, what, all right, so, so um, then what else are they gonna have to pay? How much is insurance and property taxes and stuff like that? Okay, got it right here, got my whole sheet right here, okay. okay fantastic. Okay, um, taxes are fourteen fifty eight. Okay, give me a monthly proration, just ballpark, doesn't matter if it's super accurate. Uh, uh, monthly proration, um, okay, um, okay, monthly, Total expenses monthly, total expenses for me is five, fourteen, sixteen a month. Does that pocket. include that HOA fee? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna take two hundred more and call it good. Right? My cash flow is two eighty eight eighty four. My insurance went up, fire insurance. Okay, so I wanna leave a little extra room. Ordinarily I would say they can afford this for P and I. Really just going off of what market rent would be. And I would say, hmm, I want to leave them an extra room in case the HOA goes up another 50 bucks or something. So I would just go, let's just say they can only afford for P&I, principal and interest, to me as the lender, the bank, the note holder, right? You, mm -hmm. the seller carryback guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, maybe let's just see, I mean, it's, especially in these lower prices, it's, I always use the this back button because I'm always making mistakes. So 180. Let's see if they can fully amortize this over 15 years. Uh, nope, that would be a negative interest rate. <laughs> no. uh, you know, so I'm just going, okay, what if it was 240? Okay, then you'd be carrying there. Basically, you'd have to go out 360 to make this even look. Now you're charging 5% interest, you know, something like that and they're paying you a little bit more. You know, you, you can just play with this. So if it's 6%, something like that. Now, people go, well, 6% isn't very good, but you just have to go, well, price versus terms. You're getting 20% down, which is good, right? Mm -hmm. some, so it's just whatever someone will agree to. Um, but you're getting your price, you're getting, uh, you're getting your money working for you. If you were just lending, you, you'd probably charge more, you know? <laughs> but then what can people afford? Maybe they can afford that, right? So um, those are just how the numbers would work. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, right? it makes sense. Like 
right. So you can see that you have to play with it to make it work. So depending on what, how much they can come down, and if they have a nice credit score, uh, it would be great to, um, what I would do is get it serviced with someone who, like, like Madison, I know $35 out of a $400 mortgage payment is kind of high. But if that can help improve their credit, who knows that, that they, they might not be able to refinance you at some point early if you should ever want that. Maybe you don't want that, but um, does that make sense? Me, yeah, it makes sense. But like you said, it sounds like it's a headache. I'm better off just taking the cash. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. To me, yeah, that seems like a good, a good choice. Sometimes it's better not to do. Owner carry is only one tool. Right, so mm -hmm. it's not a golden hammer for everything. It's a good thing to consider. Some people, the the, the reason why I love just like do 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 get the message out is because people usually aren't even aware of these kind of options. It doesn't mean it's the right one for you, right? So um, with all this going on, it just seems like maybe you take your cash and you're not going to have that much of a tax hit. You said and um, look for other things that maybe you so because if you have this so uh recall this so that's your loan amount secured by a property that's worth seventy thousand right you're at 80 percent loan to value if you take that if you clear let's say you just clear 60 grand okay if you sell for cash if you clear 60 uh um, and and you're secured against a property worth um let's say 90 or even more then your loan to value is only 67. So it's a much safer position for you making just as much money and, and having more liquidity in ways that you can play with it depending if, you're, if your needs change, you know? So I don't know, but great, great uh, topic for um, just showing some, some concepts. So does that, does that help a little bit? Yeah, I oh know it helps a lot. Yeah, it's great, um, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, it's a it's prime real estate, South Jersey, and it's, it's like a great neighborhood. You know, you can walk across the street to the store. There's a brand new shop right they built. So the location. Yeah, so, so good. So let's, while investors are still rabid, you know, and things haven't shaken apart too far yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. What, I was just going to get rid of it before it you stops. Might want, <laughs> you might just want to get it, you know, because if the market turns, you may have far fewer choices, right? Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much, Dawn, for taking. Oh, thank you for being back around. I always love to hear the the what if stories, of like what happened and all that. So no, it's, no, it's it's like no, you make it, it. I really like it. I want to educate myself more on the note, you know, process and get some books and stuff and start learning, you know, more. Yeah. Um, okay, that reminds me. Um, uh, well, there's a lot of great stuff out there. Of course, you, you can listen to all the stuff that I do, but it's not an A to Z course. The only thing I do is really the live event. I do all you, I've been listening to all your podcasts. I started from the, the first one. I just downloaded your podcast. Oh, I'm listening to every over and over again. <laughs> oh, good. Well, make sure you go and list. Uh, you know, the, the past mm -hmm. property and paper summits are also um, in the dashboard. If you have a free note queen account, right? You Basically, you give me your emails, which basically I then spam you once a month. Hey, join a free call. Uh, and, and then <laughs> that's all, pretty much all I do with the list. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, I've got that. I'm already yeah. a member. I'm, I'm on yeah, but, but there's a lot of, and especially transaction review and calculator practice. Those videos are that I did for a couple of years at least, I think, were really, wow. really awesome. You've been but, listening I, to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh. For more, please visit NoteQueen.com. This is how you feel if you have an unsecured note. There's nothing backing up your note. It's kind of a bad note. You see that bad baby note? <laughs> Smoking and drinking. <laughs> Feels very insecure. Because there's nothing behind it. If the person doesn't pay, there's nothing to do but maybe sue somebody or send... Luigi or somebody over with the knuckle breakers, I don't know. Or you can have a secured note and feel really confident with a good little baby note. And because it's secured, you got a, you got a chain, right? You got a chain around that asset that you can take back if the note doesn't pay.